Getting involved in the community is obviously a, a great a, a great opportunity, I think, and everybody should find a way to, to give back in some way, and, yeah. and, and whatever comes out of that is fantastic. Hi, welcome to the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast. I'm here today with John Merrill from Century 21, and uh, welcome. Thanks for having me. Hi. Appreciate being here. <laughs> cool. So tell me about your career. What were you? How long have you been a realtor? What were you doing before? Uh, I've been uh, with Century 21 Miller, based out of Oakville, for uh, almost three years now. And uh, before that, I spent a lot of time um, in national sales roles uh, in the uh, insurance space, traveling across the country, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, after a while, you, you you find it's not really. Yeah. Not as exciting as it used to be. You get a bit tired, and it was time to focus on something I was actually truly interested in. And then why? Real estate. Yeah, why real estate? What was exciting for you? Uh, you know, growing up, my 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 parents always had uh, rental properties. Uh, I got into it pretty much right after university, and uh, to this day, still have a, a number of rental properties in my portfolio that um, have uh, have done very well. Okay. In fact, I'll be visiting one of them later tonight to nice. find a new tenant. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, what's the one thing that made you successful in your career that you find you're, you're glad you did it? Um, you know, I think, I think overall, uh, it, it's the degree of professionalism, and, and that's something I've always prided myself on, no matter what I've done in my career. And, and I think it's important that people really strive towards, you know, um, you know quality. If you're going to do something, do, you know, do it right and do it well, yeah. and uh, and when you do that, people I think take notice. Yeah. You know, and that and that's true, very well, especially true in real estate. I mean, how many times do you see a listing that has great great photography? Often. Yeah. But you're also going to see a few that don't have quality photography, and yeah. uh, and, and that shows. You know, and and how well that that uh, description has been written. The write up, definitely. Everything it it. Um, you know, it, it really reflects on, on, uh, I think, on the listing, um, which is a bad service to your seller, but but it's also uh, reflects on the agent. A bad reflection of and you and your brand and who you are. Precisely. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's talk about your brand. You've okay. spent some time uh, and effort building a fantastic brand, very memorable, very professional. Thank you. It, it's working for you. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, uh, you know, back in my corporate days, um, I always had the luxury of a marketing team yeah. <laughs> that uh, that had strict brand guidelines and bricks, uh, strict uh, brand standards, and and we did a lot of work for our clients, um, such that we had to produce pieces that would reflect their branding, and yeah. so we would be given their style guide, and you know, some of them were were quite big documents, and we had you know you, you couldn't deviate from anything in in that document. So I, I came from an environment where everything had to be kind of polished and professional, and that's not to suggest that you shouldn't just get out there and do things, because sometimes action is better than inaction. Yeah. But when you come from that environment, um, I think I think it, it fosters, uh, you know, I guess I guess it, it 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 drives you to to kind of strive to a higher level of perfection, and and yeah. so I did create custom branding. Um, and it was it was quite an exercise. I mean, you've seen a lot yes. of it. There's there's a number of pieces, and I'm sure. And to keep it consistent, time after time. Yeah, everything's got to be the same, so yeah. that it always looks consistent across all the different platforms, whether it's on social media or it's a feature mm -hmm. sheet template or it's uh, you know a postcard or a just sold card. Everything's got to kind of have that same look and feel, mm -hmm. uh, and same on the website. And it's 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 a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but I, fortunately, a lot of it's already done. Yes. And now we're at the stage where we're just improvising and modifying a little bit for, yeah. for new avenues and, and adding a little bit new content. But the general look and feel, I'm, I'm pretty happy with. And yeah. that seems to be resonating. People are starting to take notice, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's memorable. It's yeah. really memorable. And then that brings me to like your uh, community involvement. You're very involved in the community, which now that you have a br in my opinion, if you have a strong brand that's memorable, when you get involved in the community, it's all about relationship, but they still recognize you more and more. I'm well, yeah, sometimes you, you need more than your, 
than your than your logo out there. You, you need your face out there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and and being involved in the community, I think, uh, you know, is, is is really positive on a number of levels. Obviously, you know, giving back and doing something that helps yeah. uh, those less fortunate in the community helps build a better community. Yeah. But at the same time, um, you know, it also creates opportunities for for my business and 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 likewise for those that I volunteer with. Or, or do things in the community, yeah. and and I think that's a big a big thing. I, I uh, you know, I, I have explored in the past, you know, networking groups like B and I, and I know they've got a, um, you know, a saying that you know givers gain. Yeah. Well, I'm not a B and I member. I, I do have another network that we we could talk about, but but that philosophy I think really uh, really resonates um, and holds true when you when you're getting involved in the community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you ha you have to have a genuine interest in what you're doing, uh, and and find something that you actually like. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and and when you do that, not only are you helping out a cause or an, or an organization that, that you believe in and you support, uh, but people take notice of that, and I think that through that they they see you as a genuine partner to them. Yeah. Um, in, in accomplishing whatever their goals are, mm -hmm. and and that helps foster. Uh, you know, better relationships, and over time, you, like these people become your friends, and and you get to know them quite well, and and as a result, uh, you you might get a few a uh, few deals out of it. Yeah, and we talked about that earlier, where it takes time, so you don't join a community involvement two months later, be like, right. I didn't get a lead yet. You have it has to come from well, helping. I mean, I think ultimately you have to get involved in things that, like I said, that you 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 believe in or yeah. or you're interested in. Um, yeah. And usually those are the same things. You know, what you believe in is yeah. the kind of stuff where your interests tend to lie. Yeah. And and when you do that, what's going to happen is is you will build those relationships. But it's like any relationship, professional or personal, like they don't happen overnight. No. And and so, you know, by by spending a bit of time and getting to truly know these people and just doing whatever you're doing with them for you know, to accomplish their mandate and their goals. You know, you're you're going to give back, and that's going to get recognized, and and in over time, yeah. You know, whether that's you know depends on the organization, the people you're with, I guess, and the relationships and you build. You. But but that could be, that could be two months, that could be two years. I, yeah. I don't know, and it, you know maybe two years is too long for you to wait. But I would say put in the time and yeah. and and make sure that you're you're giving, um, you're giving back in a way that you know is is perceived to be a valuable contribution. I find the more you're going to be genuine about it, the mm -hmm. more you're going to get leads fast and oh, absolutely. strong, strong yeah. leads, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I volunteer with the Lions Club. Yes. And, uh, and we, we, you know, they do a number of things across the community, but uh, in particular, you know, I, I, I'm a member of their golf tournament committee. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really a good golfer, but, <laughs> but, uh, but, but I do help organize and facilitate that tournament. Last year, I, it was my first year working on it with them, and, and that it was a, the tournament was such a success that, uh, of course, I'm on the committee again this year. They, yeah. they didn't kick me off. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, uh, we had a great tournament. We had a great day, yeah. and uh, and raised a lot of money for for area charities. So that's amazing. We're looking forward to it again this year, and, and all of the relationships that I've been fostering through that group um, are, are stronger than they were a year ago. Yeah, and you have a listing now from someone you met at an event. Well, it was a, really another from, event it wasn't the golf yeah. tournament, but. Uh, and I think you well you you know the event yeah. you were <laughs> you you videoed it for me, so uh, the Lions does it in Oakville does a cruise night every uh, every Tuesday evening from uh, it's the first Tuesday after the May long weekend until the third Tuesday in uh, September yeah. weather dependent of course yeah and so the cruise nights it, it's a it's a car show and so you know people bring out their their toy cars classics and modern sports cars and all kinds of you know everything in between yeah. And, and you know we get 250, 300 cars out every Tuesday night if the weather's good. And um, as a result, uh, you know I mean, I, I mean I'm into cars. It's, yeah. it's something I'm interested in. I, I would go to that event anyway. Yeah. So um, by joining the Lions Club and being a member of that committee uh, and, and putting on the show every Tuesday, um, it's uh, it, it's helped me not only get you know stronger relationships amongst my fellow. Lions Club members, but yeah. I, I'm getting to know people in the community who are bringing their cars out every week. And, yeah, and, you get to hang out, talk to them all night, every week. And and it's fun. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you're, we're raising money for charity and it doesn't even feel like work. It's, yeah. it's a good time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have a listing right now who's somebody who brings their car to uh, cruise night every, every Tuesday. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And tell us about that other group you talked about. It's a smaller group. 
uh, quality partnerships, would you say, key relationships? Yeah. So, you know, um, getting involved in the community is obviously a, a, great, a, a great opportunity, I think, and everybody should find a way to, to give back in some way, and, yeah. and, and whatever comes out of that is fantastic. But, but you need to find professional relationships as well that are, um, you know, going to be, be uh, I guess, be you know, lucrative in some way. Yeah. Um, you know, I mentioned BNI, and I'm not a member of that. But that's for those who aren't familiar. I mean, I know you're very familiar with it. Yeah. But it's 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 an organization, of course, that um, you, you got to pay to play. You you know, you, you pay for your seat, and it's a large group. It could be 25, could be 45 people. Yeah, that's true. It can really work well. But those groups don't always take off as easily as one might think, because in the early days you don't have 25 or 45 people, and and so it can be frustrating getting to a point where you know you're putting all this effort into building a group and nothing's really coming out of it. Yeah. You know, I started thinking about that um, when uh, I had toyed with the idea of joining a BNI group, and and I kind of realized that you know I. If I'm going to put in a lot of energy and effort into a, a group, why not focus on quality yeah. over quantity? And uh, so as a result, I've, uh, right, I mean, it's not that we're not open to growing it to be a bigger number, but right <laughs> now I have, a, I have a, a little networking group of four of us. Okay. And it'd be myself, a mortgage broker, a financial planner, and uh, a real estate lawyer. Okay. That's and perfect. Works really well. Yeah. In fact, um, I, at this very moment, I've got about five or six, well, no, probably about seven leads. Okay. That uh, the bro mortgage broker and I are, are working on as we speak. Yeah, cool. And, That's amazing. And you know, the 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 guys in the group, um, all of us have kind of gotten to a stage where you know we all feel comfortable with each other. We, yeah. You know, Trusting. It's, you know, it's, it's like your buddies essentially. Yeah. You, you know, they become friends, and uh, and it's working really really well. Um, we just finished. We uh, our second client who has touched all four of us. So use all for all you. everybody in the, in the group. Transaction. One hundred percent. Everybody has been involved in some way yeah. with that client. That gives a lot of power yeah. to your clients because if you know the lawyer you're dealing with and the mortgage broker, you guys can make sure the deal happens. Well, we can in, in a way and that make it seamless and exactly. friendly as a transaction. Well, you know, to give you an example, we have yeah. um, a, you know checklists, for example, are a common thing that people in just about any industry might share with their clients. Yeah. Um, what we've done is we've, we've kind of taken the, each of our checklists and pulled from it what's most important, what they actually use, yeah. rather than me assume what a lawyer's going to need, for That's example. That's true, yeah. And so at various stages of the process, I share with them a document that uh, encapsulates everything across our group and, and how they can assist in that process. At every stage where it makes sense to pass somebody to the next person, there is a warm introduction okay. um, and an explanation of exactly how it's going to work with the checklist attached. Um, obviously, I've spoken to my client at some point. It's not just an email. Yeah. But uh, so you explain that relationship and how it works. And we really talk up that team approach. Yeah. Now, in real estate, most people, when you think of team, you're thinking of a team leader being a realtor, a broker who has multiple realtors underneath selling, yeah. maybe with you know admin staff or marketing staff. I am not part of a team in the typical sense. I am yeah. an individual agent that sells uh, on my own. Yeah. Um, but, but I have a team behind me that facilitates other aspects of the transaction. So, you know, the financing and the lawyer and the, you know, the um, uh, financial planner, for example. Yeah. So that team approach uh, works really well. And, and we've had, uh, I mean, I've had clients um, provide uh, feedback and testimonials speaking to our team. Yeah. And, and if you had just heard my team, you'd assume I meant a real estate, a real estate team, team in the but traditional no. sense. And, and so the clients are, are responding. Yeah. The experience is seamless. Uh, each time that I send a referral to the, my real estate lawyer, for example, yeah. um, when it comes from me, what he does is not just pass it off to his clerks. The file will go to the clerks, yeah. but he will personally pick up the phone immediately, yeah. or as soon as he can, and call, introduce himself, explain the process, mm -hmm. and so it's you know their their hand is held throughout the the, state, uh, the entire process, and and they know exactly what to expect. So there's no surprises, no issues, or, or very few, and anything that does arise, one of us, whoever is the one who needs to yeah. handle it, yeah. is on it. That's such a win for the client, I find. It is, yeah. Like, as a stressful, as stressful as a transaction can be, mm -hmm. you guys are making it 
seamless. As seamless as we yeah. possibly can. And, and yeah. the feedback we've gotten from our clients so far that have touched at least, well, at least two out of the four of yeah. us have said exactly that. We haven't had a single uh, complaint yes. yet, knock That's on wood. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, in fact, we I've got a client right now who hasn't even closed yet, yeah. uh, who has already referred uh, myself and the mortgage broker to uh, somebody else to her uh, one of her colleagues. Nice. And so now we're working. Their their, their pre approval is in in process as we speak, and we'll be we'll be shopping shortly. Yeah. And then we've done testimonial videos with your clients that were very specific. We have, um, and they were really specific on a topic for each type of. Uh, target market you, you might target in your marketing, right? Well, exactly. Each time we've done it, and it's not that we won't repeat some of those topics over time, but yeah. but we've we, we have touched on um, you know we've done a first time home buyer. We've we've done um, we've done somebody that bought and sold investors. Um, we've done investors. Yeah. Um, you know, through the winter, I, I well, I always joke that every time you you guys shoot for me, that it's always a sunny day. Yes. <laughs> and nice weather. <laughs> And that's true. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm kind of a fair weather kind of person. Uh, even though I like to ski, I, I don't uh, I don't really care for for cold snowy days. No. So um, we haven't filmed any testimonials through the winter, but I've got some clients in mind that we're going to be visiting yeah. this spring and, and summer. And I'm really looking forward to to, to what they have to say. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to cover some more topics. So mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm looking forward to one in particular that we'll do on. Uh, on downsizers and and uh, and those who are kind of you know entering a different stage of their life. Yeah, very so, cool. Yeah, and then tell us about let's say advice. If you had advice for a new realtor, what would you? Um, you know, suggest? I the one thing I would suggest is is find uh, you know folks across the industry who are going to be valuable partners to you and and. I remember, you know, my first year. I think my phone rang every single day, or I got an email every single day from a company out there that provided some kind of service to realtors. For two realtors. <laughs> and we have to be able to kind of get through the, you know, the all that all that noise, and find those quality services that you actually need. Some of the stuff that's being offered, you don't, you probably don't need, or yeah. you could do yourself. Um, and find quality partnerships, uh, people you can count on, people that maybe have a, a similar mindset. Um, you know, and that's gonna that, that, you know whether it's your your networking through mortgage brokers or or a bank contact or or somebody in the insurance space, whatever it may be, but also the services that you rely on for um, you know for your listings, yeah. um, photography, for example, yeah. or, or videos or websites. Um, you know, there there are there's good companies out there and yeah. and, and not so great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and 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 at the end of the day, even. It, it, what makes them good is that is how they interact with you. Yeah, and, and the homeowners. And the homeowners, it's a big exactly. Deal. Yeah, you know, exactly. You're in the, you're in the home doing the photo photos usually when the homeowner's there. Yeah, yeah. And and you know how the photographer, for example, conducts themselves in the presence of the homeowner. Yes. You know, reflects on on you on me. I have a lot of procedures in my hiring uh, and training for my mm -hmm. photographers of stuff to say not to say right like it's very specific don't ever talk about this or that and then that yeah. really helps the realtor look good like if well we don't you know you never want to step on toes or insult somebody and and no. so you, you know i, I think being yeah. as complimentary as you can probably <laughs> is a good thing. Yes, yes. But uh, so you know, beyond relationships, I think you know we talked about it you know, earlier on uh, today was uh, was professionalism. And, yeah. And I think that you know whether it's uh, the, the the culmination of of all of your marketing pieces that you put out, mm -hmm. whether it's the description that you write for the listing, uh, whether it's just simply how you conduct yourself with your clients. Obviously, you need to read your audience, and yeah. there's certain clients that I'm going to be with where it's going to yeah. be a lot more casual than yeah. others. But you read your audience. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and and just how you how you follow up with other realtors, for example, you've shown their listing, and you know, a lot of folks don't don't offer feedback. Um, I hear all the time that people don't like the automated emails that go out asking for feedback. Yeah. It's not as personal, but I would offer a different viewpoint on that. Okay. If you don't get that automated email. Will you remember to pick up the phone so, and call them or email them or text them or whatever? Yeah. I love those automated emails. Because it's because easy, it's, it's there. Constant reminder. Yeah. Yep. I gotta follow up with them. Yeah. Click the button, write a little note, check whatever boxes are necessary. It takes yeah. like 
10 seconds. It doesn't have to be so personalized anymore. Like it so, can just be. Well, I mean, usually there's a spot to write something. So if you want to yeah. you know, add a little more detail, you can do that. But it's, it's um, you know, I think those are, that's actually a great service, even yeah. though a lot of people complain about it. It shows that you have systems and procedures. Yeah. You showed my property, I want feedback. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate it. I know I don't always get it. Yeah. But at, at the end of the day, um, you know, there are times when, when my listings are shown, I do I do reach out and yeah. call or, or text or whatever, between, depending on whatever communication I've already had with the, with the showing agent. Yeah. But um, so as a, as a listing agent, I don't rely on those, no. on those uh, pieces. But I mean, I, yesterday I showed eight houses. Mm -hmm. uh, only one of the eight agents asked for feedback. called me to ask oh. for feedback. The others, uh, I believe I got an automated message for all of them and I okay. already submitted feedback, but only one called me. Mm -hmm. So That says a lot. I, yeah, I would say it's a good idea to pick up the phone as a yeah. listing agent yeah. and, and provide that feedback. And as a buying agent, I think, I think you should you know, do your best to provide the feedback. Provide the feedback. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, we wear both hats you're at various times. You're working with each other, I always say. You're going to see these people again, and the yeah. better you can foster relationships uh, within, within your own um, industry, yeah. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Where do we find you? Where's your contact information? Um, well, uh, you can find me at johnmerrill.ca um, or uh, John Merrill at uh, John dot Merrill at Century Twenty One dot yeah. ca. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, my cell phone direct number nine zero five six three zero zero seven seven eight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on our episode today and give us all this awesome advice. Thanks for having me. Anytime. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.